Hello, hello, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel today. I'm doing my June bullet journal and I do know it's a bit late. Currently 31st of May. Damn, I am a little bit late with this. But unfortunately, this week has been pretty difficult. It's been a very emotional week. A lot of stuff has happened recently and I'm in the process of healing, recovering, getting through it. And I'm doing my best. I'm trying my hardest. I thought I should get this video out. I don't want to let this go to waste. So I am really sorry about it being late, but I hope that you guys can enjoy it nonetheless. Anyway, my upload schedule is a little bit messed up, but from next week I will be posting videos every Tuesday as I looked at my analytics and Tuesday seems to be the day that works best for you guys and I hope it will do too. I'm also looking to get a steady upload time as well, so then you can expect the upload to be up at a certain hour and it'll be more regular from there on. Got to enforce that schedule. Anyway, some updates as well. YouTube is stopping the poll feature and on my bullet journals, I think this is one of the most memorable things about them, but I always maybe add three or four different choices for the next month and you guys vote for which one you'd like to see next. And I honestly love that so much. I used it in so many of my videos, but unfortunately they're stopping it. They're removing the feature. So I've got to figure out some other way to do the poll because I still want your input. But for now, I'm just going to ask you guys to comment down below the themes and ideas that you would like to see in the future or for next month, so July. Please do comment them down below. I'm looking into different ways I can implement this, maybe a link to a poll on some other site, or maybe I could use the community tab because there's a poll option there, or social media like my Instagram, at Expressive Journal for my bullet journal and art page. But anyway, right now all I'm asking is to be active, comment new ideas, and I'll reply to you and read them all but anyway let's get on with this theme this is a retro theme recently i did a watercolor paint with me and this was a brainstorm for a retro bullet journal theme and this does look quite different to it but i felt that my bullet journals are always monochromatic black and white i wanted to keep it cohesive so i went with that theme and just took a few ideas from that you know the brainstorm watercolor page it was such a a lovely brainstorm page. I love creating it. I want to do some more stuff like that. But I took inspiration from the mixtapes. And mixtapes do have significance to me. I like to make mixtapes for special people in my life, share them back and forth. And I just like music. Listening to music is something very relaxing and comforting to me. So I thought that why not dedicate this month to something that makes me very happy. So here I am. I'm listening to music a lot this month because that's my healing juice, my healing medicine. Anyway, I decided to draw a little selection of three mixtapes on the grass and a little blanket with a boombox on the blanket there and a girl just sat with her dog, a Shiba Inu, on her lap. You can see that I am doing a grass pattern and adding some flowers in there. The grass pattern is similar to the grass that I did last well the last month from this spread and i thought that the idea worked well so i tried it tried to fade it using a darker pen for the center and a lighter for the corners as it fades out and i added some drop shadows to things like the flowers as well also not forgetting to add some detail and pattern to the girl's clothes this theme is quite different from the rest because it is more flat more 2d it feels like a cartoon-esque drawing maybe some sort of anime style I'm not used to drawing like this. It's something new and different. And I feel in comparison to all of my other spreads and not just when I feel. When I look at the footage as well, it was a lot quicker to do. It felt like a much more relaxed and calm drawing. While this cartoon style relaxed drawing might not be like the other bullet journal pieces or the other pieces of art I have produced, I think it's very interesting to experiment with a new style and a new technique. There are a lot of things to learn and there are so many new things that, you know, you just gotta try it. And I've really enjoyed trying new things, learning new tricks and techniques recently. With quarantine being a thing, we're stuck indoors all day. And while I get my classwork out of the way, I also like to be able to devote time to things like YouTube, to art and all the things that I'm passionate about and really love to do. So I'm taking this moment and this time where I'm not only healing, but 
trying to make myself happiest. I'm making sure that I don't neglect my hobbies and the people and the things are special to me. And I spend all of my time being able to focus on them, channel myself in the right ways, be productive and make something good out of my time and myself. So this bullet journal spread is not only kind of symbolic of that, it's very new. The whole style, I shifted it up a lot. I watched some other videos and looked at comments and I noticed people were saying things like, I love how some people's bullet journals are always new. They bring in such new and interesting ideas and concepts and it's not repetitive. One thing I notice is that sometimes my bullet journal spreads and layouts can be repetitive and maybe that's because I find comfort in familiarity, but it's time to, you know, step out of the box, try something new, get out of my comfort zone. So I shifted up all of my spread designs, added in some new things, and this is my month at a glance. Instead of having my goals and the little calendar on the page, I made this whole double page spread into a massive calendar so I can write down all the details of absolutely every single little thing happening this month. Then the next two pages are for my goals and my trackers. These are very new and unusual and instead of just tracking my mood and water, I'm tracking a lot of things. But first of all, I'm starting with my goals. Instead of just listing down five things every month, I'm making a full on table so I can list down my goal, the steps that I need to take in order to achieve them and then the outcome. And I'm going to use, I can't remember what it's called, but it's just this bullet point system where you can say if you've done it, if you need to delay it, if it's an important task, all of those things. And then the habit tracker, I decided to track eight habits across the whole month. And these are all very different things. And basically all what I do is if I've done the thing, I put an X in the box and I do that every day, track it and then move on to the next day and keep on going. Then I can see throughout the month, which things I need to work on, which things I'm doing all right with. So I've done drink water, wake up before 8 a.m sleep before midnight, do a 30 minute workout, do 10k steps, eat well, get my classwork completed, especially in the morning. I sometimes like to spend the whole morning on classwork, then have the afternoon free and then plant care. Something for my own mental health, something that I love to do for myself. Sometimes you can fall into some form of like productivity cycle and you just feel that everything you have to do and everything you track has to be something awfully productive or something like you need to work out, you need to do X, Y, and Z. It feels so rigid, but sometimes you can add in little things like draw today or small things like that that might not be the most productive but they're good for you and your mental health and your own personal well-being. I think putting in things for your own happiness in these habit trackers are very important and just as important as all the health aspects too. For my classwork, we are taking a whole entirely new and different approach. I really love this. I separated these two pages into five boxes and I have a enough room so I could put in six different pieces of work per week. And the idea is that each week I'll write down all the work that I get from my class to do outside of class, such as homework or coursework, all of that good stuff and write them in. I have a space for the due date, a place to write down which course it's from, and then the task. Then once I've completed the task, I will just highlight it and that will indicate that it is off the to-do list. And this is so much easier, it's so much better. I feel that everything is more accessible and I really love how it looks. Then on the following page, we have my revision because I originally intended to put my homework on one page, but then I realized it just wouldn't work. But I wanted to keep my bullet journal on even, an even number of pages. So I made my revision tracker across two pages. Here I have a grid with five spaces each for each of the subjects that I take. And the idea is for every single week, I will have a topic of revision for each of these different classes and I can focus on that topic for that specific week and it'll keep me on track and keep me productive and doing equal amounts of work for all my subjects so I don't end up neglecting any of them. Then I have a calendar on the following page and a space to write any dates for things like upcoming tests 
or upcoming things that I need to note for the classes and I can mark them on the calendar too and that really helps me visualize everything because I'm quite a visual person and really like to see everything laid out in front of me. And of course we reached the final few pages. Here we have Nikki's mixtape and a little mixtape drawing on the final, the very final page. As I said, music is my solace in dark times and it's something that I really don't think I would be able to live happy enough without. I listen to music when I walk to places, when I take the bus to my classes, when I go to work or go from work, all of these different things. I listen to music when I want to relax, when I want to game, when I want to do my homework or study, when I fall asleep, I like to listen to music, all of these different things. It accompanies so much in life and I feel that in lyrics you can find a lot of meaning and a lot of different emotions and happiness and the music you listen to can really impact your mood or help you express it so it is something very special to me and i wanted to take this month to create something for myself and be able to make my own sound so my mixtape will be a collection of all different sounds, all different music pieces that are special to me and things that I enjoy, new things that I've listened to, or pieces that say, yeah, this is my vibe, this is my thing. So at the end of the month, I can make this playlist and just listen to it and be happy and reminded of positive things. And of course, that little final mixtape on the last page, all of it is created with my uni pen fine liners and one singular Tombow brush pen. I really don't use that many materials for my bullet journals. And I realize that the materials might not actually be, you know, high end or anything, but if you do similar style artwork to me, please tell Tell me what materials you use, I'm really interested. Or even if your artwork is completely different, I want to know what sort of materials you use the most to do your bullet journals or your artwork pieces. Then we can compare, contrast, just talk about it because I'm so interested in looking for new materials to use and work with or new mediums to experiment with. It's very interesting to me and I'd love to know what you guys use and what you prefer to work with. I feel that some of the pages looked a little bit bland so I decided to add in a couple little daisies. I just felt that they worked very well to fill in the empty spaces in the pages so I drew them in a few different sizes and they gave me some really really big hippie vibes I don't know about you but I like them they're quite cute and yes that is my finished bullet journal spread. So here we have the intro page to welcome in the month of June with a lovely Shiba Inu and a lot of music and mixtapes. Very cool retro vibes. Following that, we then have my month at a glance where I can note down all of the important events coming up that month, every single thing that I need to note and remember. Following that, we have my goals where I'll note the steps that I need to take to achieve them and my progress and track all of my most important eight habits throughout the month. Then after that we have my work tracker. So here I track all of the work that I'm getting from my classes and all of the things that I need to do, my progress, what course they're from and their due dates. Following that we then have my revision tracker where I can write down one topic from each class to revise per week and track down all my upcoming tests and dates. Then we have the space for Nikki's mixtape where I'll write down all of my favorite music for this month and a pretty picture of a mixtape on the final page to conclude my bullet journal for June. I use a Tombow brush pen and Unipin fine liners in black, dark gray, light gray, and I also use some alphabet stamps and ink. So that was it for the bullet journal and I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Of course, you know what to do if you did. Give the video a like and subscribe. Press the bell to receive notifications when I post my videos. And from now on, I will be seeing you guys every single Tuesday. Keep up to date with my social media, also the community tab for updates. I'll see you soon. Stay safe. Peace. Goodbye.